Hey everyone, this is my review of the MSR Titan Kettle. Keep everything usually in this pack right here. Uh, it's a little pot koozie that I made out of Reflectix. You can get it at any local hardware store. Super cheap, you can buy the roll. I also have the MSR Titan cup. I had to get the matching set. So with this kettle, it does have handles. does have a little loop on the top so you can take the top off and it does stay locked in place when you set it. It might be pretty difficult to see but if you look on the inside little indentations maybe you might be able to see it. Um, each one is approximately eight ounces and I did measure it with a measuring cup so what I did is you can see right there uh, 8 16 and 24 ounces and it does make things a little bit easier when you're trying to measure out water MSR Titan kettle it does fit obviously the cup and in the cup I usually keep a lighter and my Snow Peak Light Max stove. And then I also have a Tokes folding spork. Um, I'm not sure how heavy it is. Maybe I'll post it somewhere on the screen around here. But let me go ahead and get this all set up. With this Snow Peak stove, you can see it's pretty compact when it's folded but for to unfold everything flip the little lever out slide this around and then you can fold these little arms out to hold the pot amateur tip before you light your stove up keep your fuel warm close to your body when it's really cold and it does warm it up a little bit so you can light your stove a little bit easier. With most backpacking meals, they usually require between 10 to 12 ounces of water. So go ahead and put about 12 ounces of water in the tea kettle. And I'll go ahead and get this lit up. There you go. Now while I wait for this to boil, you're probably thinking, where did I get this awesome coat slash vest? Uh, it's custom, pretty comfortable. Very rare, very expensive. Now the water is at a boil. So usually when I'm done, if I have any food in here, I'll go ahead and dump it in and then I'll put it into this koozie and I'll set it on top, wait for the food to rehydrate, and then enjoy. Usually I'll go ahead and just eat right outside, right off the, uh, right out of the pot. While my food is rehydrating in the pot, cooking pot, usually I'll go ahead and have either coffee or hot chocolate or anything warm. The only thing about having the MSR Titan cup, it is made out of titanium, such same thing as the kettle but usually I can just put it out on top of there and boil the water and make it hot for my coffee or hot chocolate now because this is made out of titanium it is pretty easy to clean um, you can scrub the inside with a some type of Brillo pad or any other type of scouring pad um, I have used this over campfires I've used it with solid fuel. You can use it with alcohol stoves. Pretty durable, pretty easy to clean. If you don't have an MSR Titan cup, you can also use these cups and they fit fairly well as you fold it up. Uh, this one is a Sea to Summit mug, I believe. And it does fit fairly well. You just put it in there and it fits on the bottom. So you can fit stove if you have one of the smaller canister canister uh, fuel. I believe 
this will not fit and you won't be able to close it see it doesn't really fit you can try without the top and it kind of fits you can see there's a little bit of gap right there uh, because this has a wider base it captures more heat a little bit quicker to cook and heat up your water so that's my current setup like everybody else there's always new ones i'm willing to try and i'm sure in another year i'll have a new setup but for right now this has actually been working out for me for the past five years and i've been pretty happy with it if you found this video informative press the like button and if you want to see more reviews of mine press the subscribe button it really does help me out thanks for watching